during the quarantine times, for a lot of you, this might look like the new normal. However, for me, this is very normal. See, the last time I remember paying for a haircut was in 2016. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't because I think I can do a better job than any professional hairdresser. It is for two reasons. One, because even if I fail and the haircut looks subpar, then I only have to blame myself. And it's a learning lesson for next time, which you can do again in two to three weeks. And two, which is the more important of the two, is self-reliance. There it is, not too bad. Pro tip, use a huge mirror. It's very easy and I have it propped up just like that on the chair. It actually fits perfectly. Also check me out when I was a little kid. Or a baby, I should say. Right, little chubba. You see, I live in rural Wisconsin now, not something that I had planned on doing back in 2016 when I started cutting my own hair. But during college, which is way before 2016, I took a class and we studied authors like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau. They talk heavily about self-reliance. That was one of the biggest reasons that got me into cycling and in turn got me to cut my own hair. The bike was a new form of self-reliance for me. Not just an ability to get me from A to B, but also just working on it. It's an intimidating process at first. Things like bleeding your brakes sounds really intimidating. Very easy to take that into a bike shop and have them do it for you, but there's no self-reliance there. I am not opposed to supporting local businesses and I don't want this to sound like it, I am just more focused on honing that craft of self-reliance. This has really paid off for me because again, I live in a rural place. So a few weeks ago I received my SRAM brake bleeding kits. Now why the SRAM one? All of the bikes which we own in this household have SRAM brakes of some sort. Now this was by design. I knew I wanted to be bleeding our own brakes and being able to do that from home is a time consuming process, yes. Can it be messy? Yes. But it is, again, just practicing that art of self-reliance. Now in this beautiful or not so beautiful, depending on how you look at it, day and age of the internet, you can learn anything from home. In fact, Jordan and I are building out our van by ourselves from home, thanks to the internet. A couple weeks ago, I set up Tubeless. That is a process that I learned again at home, thanks to the internet. And bleeding the brakes on my Karate Monkey was no different. I had my laptop going at all times, basically replaying that SRAM video over and over so I can get this process dialed and I know it. Line of the handlebar into the syringe body. Cover the tip with a rag and depress the plunger just enough to remove it. Now I know this video is no tutorial. I am not the biggest fan of doing them in this day and age anyway because there is so many better produced and higher quality information in others. If I find something that is not yet posted on the internet, I will be more than happy to do tutorials or show you guys how I do the process. For the most part, something like bleeding your brakes or setting up tubeless, there is plenty of very good how-to videos on how to get those tasks done. So if you are bored at home and doing nothing during this quarantine, take it upon yourself to be self-reliant. Learn something new, whether that be on your bike or how to cut your hair. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun making it. I know it was shorter than most of my videos, but I think the concept and the uh, importance of the idea of self-reliance is there and you don't need to elaborate much more on it. 
So I have a couple of major life changes coming up in the month of May and June that I'd like to share with you guys because it might affect how I post videos on this YouTube channel. First off, I am finishing another year of teaching here in Wisconsin. I was previously a teacher in Colorado, um, so I'm just wrapping things up there with the school and it's sometimes more time consuming because no one's ever dealt with the situation we're in now. So it's just a learning curve for everyone, including myself. Another thing that's really exciting is uh, I'm getting married next month. Originally, it was supposed to be in July, but with the whole world, you know, in a pandemic, we things got shuffled around with Jordan's work schedule, and now we will be getting married next month. And I know you guys see this ring on my finger and think I'm already married. I'm actually not yet. It was a symbol. We did long distance for a year of our relationship and that's when I proposed. So I wanted this little rubber ring as a symbol that it's coming, it's gonna happen. Because I didn't have Jordan in my life every day. But now I do, it's awesome. And last but not least is the van. Jordan and I have been working to finish up this van so we could take it out to Colorado and out west um, by the start of next month. So that is probably what's taking up most of the time nowadays, but it's super exciting. I've been recording everything, so more van videos will be coming up soon. And uh, yeah, really excited to share with you guys how that's been going. And I'm telling you all of these things because they might affect, of course, how I post here on YouTube. Ideally, I would like to post a video every Thursday or Friday. I don't have a set date. It's one of those two days. It's the end of the week. If the video is done by a Thursday, you will see it on Thursday. If it's not, you will see it on Friday. So it's just the end of the week kind of routine. But with all this going on, I might just be plopping in videos on random days of the week and not necessarily sticking to the end of the week schedule. I will try my best uh, to stick to it, but yeah, I'm sorry, it might change. If you're subscribed and you haven't hit the bell, I never say hit the bell, but maybe hit the bell because I might be dropping videos on a Monday or on a Tuesday or Wednesday, any day that ends in day. So uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know. And if you're not subscribed and enjoy content like this, subscribe and hit the bell. Now I'm saying hit the bell. Hit the bell so you're notified when a new video comes out. And uh, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about self-reliance? How are you practicing it in times like this? Remember to keep the conversation positive and uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace.